following demonstration, we'll take a look at large simulation results file management options in Team Center. We'll begin by taking a look at the issues, then we'll explore solutions along with a demonstration. The first issue is with file size. The simulation results files can be very large, uh, which can make them very difficult to manage. An example of a result file is a NASTRAN output to result file. Another issue is the network bandwidth to the file storage location. In many cases, the file storage location may be remote and there may be network issues between the client and the network uh, file storage location. And as the file size increases, so does the time required to transfer the file. Another issue is file server storage cost. Uh, file server storage can sometimes be more expensive than desktop storage. One solution is with customer defaults. Upon opening a sim with results, the results file um, can be transferred from the server to the client team centered local temporary directory or not. Um, and that can be controlled with a customer default, which can make it so that the user can explicitly request when the result file is needed. So customer defaults can be found under File Utilities. And we'll go into Team Center Integration on the General tab, and you'll see the Export Associated Files. And this is what will control whether or not the results files are automatically exported from the database. So here you can see in the status line it's not exporting any of the results files. If we go look at the results you'll see that the results aren't there until we go ahead and try to open them and then at that point it will download them. So it won't download it automatically. It will wait for us to ask to view the results. Another solution is with saving the large result file outside of Team Center and saving a pointer or a URL to Team Center that shows where that file is located. All right, for the URL demonstration, we'll create a new solution. And we'll go for linear static solution 101. We'll create some constraints. And uh, gravity load, we'll put 1G on there. And we'll put it in Gs. So one of the benefits of SimCenter 3D is you can put in your loads in whatever units you're comfortable. And we've already defined some glue that attach the brackets to the electronic box. We'll go ahead and bring those into the linear static solution as well. So then uh, at this point we're ready to go ahead and solve. And here you can see the uh, solution took about five seconds for Nastran to run. And it's generated a number of results files. And here, let's go ahead and take a look at our linear static results for the 1G load. And what we'd like to do is not save these results into Team Center. We'd like to store them locally, uh, someplace maybe on a network path so others can find it as well, by defining a URL to help us locate these results in the future. So we'll call this URL uh, Nastrian results 
And here I have uh, Windows Explorer open to the location where I want to put these results. So I'll copy that path and paste it into my URL. And that's now added to the item revision. So now all we have left to do is put those results in that location. So now to find where those results are, we'll just go ahead and browse uh, on the solution. And there's all of our results files from Nastrium. We'll go ahead and copy those and paste them into our URL location. All right, so now that they're there, we'll go ahead and save to save the new solution that we created, but we don't want to save any of the Nastrian results files. So I'm going to cancel on that dialog. And then we'll close all of our parts. And here again, we're asked, are you sure you don't want those files? Yes, we definitely don't want to bring those into the database. All right, now that we've closed, let's go ahead and reopen. And we'll confirm that we don't have any results in the database. So now to find those results, we'll go back to Team Center and we'll double click on our URL. And this will automatically open up our file location. And we can go ahead and copy those files. And then paste them into the Team Center temporary location by browsing on the solution. And then we can open our results. We also can reduce the size of the results file. Instead of capturing the Nastran output to result, we can capture a lightweight version of it in a JT format. And in this way, we can, by orders of magnitude, reduce the size of the result file. Now to create a JT file of our results, in the post-processing navigator, we'll right-click on our results and say create a new JT results file. And here we can select exactly which results we'd like to capture in a JT result file. We'll do save option manage, we'll give it a name, and we'll save. And this will save the sim as well as the JT results file. So if we go back to the rich client, we'll see the JT results. If we double click on them, that will open our results in Team Center Visualization. And here we can see our displacement results. We can also view our stress results. And if we're wondering exactly what uh, is the stress in the bend there, uh, we can go and identify element nodal results. So here you can see we can pick the element and the node. We can select multiple results, and that will sum or average the results. Uh, it'll show us the min and the max and the element and node IDs. Now if we'd like something a little more persistent we can go into annotations and select a result that we'd like. And we can have a persistent annotation.
the last option is software as a service. We can employ uh, cloud-based solutions in place of engineering desktop. Amazon Web Service is one example of this where you can use AppStream to log into a remote environment that has your complete performance simulation and data ma management software in one place. So this way there's no concern for network architecture or storage locations. Uh, it's all in one place, so there's no issue with the transfer of the data. And these solutions are certified by the U.S. government for military use. And this is the solution that we have been using today for our demonstration. And that concludes the demonstration. <laughs>